In contrast to the widespread perception, value cannot be created in the absence of an evaluator. Bitcoin has worth that can be objectively as well as subjectively evaluated, and this value is just beginning to be acknowledged. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for more news. If you listen to various Bitcoin detractors for a sufficient amount of time, you will invariably hear the argument that Bitcoin can't possibly succeed since it doesn't have any intrinsic value. This argument will be repeated over and over again. You can't hold a Bitcoin in your hand, you can't wear it, and the only thing you can do with it is trade it with another user. Gold bulls are fond of pointing out that, in contrast to Bitcoin, the precious metal is utilized in a diverse range of fields, including electronics, jewelry, and dentistry. Bitcoin, in contrast to stocks, bonds, and farmland, does not generate anything of value for its owners. Establishment fiat investors and economists are fond of pointing this out. However, what neither of these camps seems to grasp is the fact that these are not flaws but rather fundamental aspects of Bitcoin itself. In order to have a complete understanding of how to answer the question of what Bitcoin's intrinsic worth is, we first need to explain the concept of intrinsic value itself. According to the website Investopedia, intrinsic value is defined as a measure of what an asset is worth. Instead of using the asset's current value on the market, this measurement is arrived at by means of an objective computation or complex financial model. This definition is pointless, to put it more diplomatically. Who makes the call as to whether an objective calculation or a sophisticated model will be utilized? How do we go about selecting the inputs and variables that will be used in these calculations? There is no such thing as intrinsic value in the sense that an object can have objective value in and of itself. This is because there is no such thing as intrinsic value. Consider several assets that are commonly regarded to have their own intrinsic worth, such as gold, farmland, stocks, and real estate. This will serve as a thought exercise. Now picture a world in which there are no people at all. Does the value of these items still exist? The correct response is no, as the concept of value can only make sense in relation to the presence of humans. It follows that the entire notion of intrinsic worth is founded upon a fallacious premise, which is that value can be divorced from the evaluator, despite the fact that the two are inextricably bound together. It is impossible for there to be value if there is no one to evaluate it, just as it is impossible for there to be a buyer without a selling or a heads on a coin without a tails. Imagine a man who is marooned on an island and manages to find a bar of gold while he is there. The gold bar is of no use at all if it is sitting there by itself with nobody to trade it with. If it were true that gold possesses something that can be described as an intrinsic or objective value, then the gold bar would unavoidably still have worth to the man. On the other hand, the man on the island does not place any more value on the gold bar than he does on a rock of a like shape. Since its conception, the price of Bitcoin has been subject to a roller coaster of volatility. According to the market site Coindesk, 2017 was the only year that experienced substantial growth, with the price of Bitcoin starting the year at less than $1.000 and reaching $19.000 at its peak. After that, we witnessed a significant decline in 2018, followed by stabilization in 2019. A common question that people who don't believe in something will ask is, what drives its worth, and why does a substantial market still spend heavily in it? This article will attempt to answer this question and provide some insight into the value proposition underlying Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The methods of making payments are going through rapid transitions at the moment, which brings us to this point in time. But when it comes to trading commodities, the number of innovations that have been developed may literally be counted on one's fingertips. Examples of these innovations include digital wallets and payment applications. The value that lies behind cryptocurrencies in general, including Bitcoin, is frequently misunderstood by the general public. This is also a result of the fact that most individuals are ignorant regarding the value that lies behind a fiat money. The topic of where Bitcoin gets its value from is one that many people are asking as the popularity of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies continues to climb alongside the ups and downs in the price of these cryptocurrencies. It's true that some currencies do have an intrinsic worth, particularly those that are backed by precious metals like gold and silver. 
However, the majority of currencies used today are considered to be fiat currencies. Therefore, in order for a commodity to have value, it needs to be exchangeable for other commodities of a comparable value. In order for the commodity to be traded in the future, it must also have the capacity to preserve or store its value. Add to that the fact that if there is a limited supply of the product in question, then its value will rise over time along with the demand for it. What does the term fiat currency mean? The term fiat money refers to currency that has been issued by the government but is not backed by a real commodity such as gold or silver. Instead, the currency's value is determined solely by the government that issued it. The link between supply and demand, in addition to the stability of the government that issues the currency, is what determines the value of fiat money. It is essential that you comprehend the fact that the participants of the network who are putting a fiat currency into use are the ones who select the demand and supply levels at this time. If I were to trade a $100 bill for a mobile phone inside of a network, for instance, it would be the equivalent of transferring something that was worth $100 for the phone. The proprietor of the store receives the $100 bill and either uses it to pay for his dinner or invests it in order to increase its value. The value of transactions involving fiat currency, sometimes known as money, is determined with the assistance of the backing of the government. The benefit is right here. Bitcoin along with the majority of other cryptocurrencies, is not backed by any gold or silver and, as a result, does not have any inherent value. This is similar to the situation with fiat currency. The support of the state and the trust that people have in their government are the two primary factors that contribute to the value of any currency. Because of this, it is essential for a network to have faith in any form of currency in order for it to be used as a medium of trade inside the network, regardless of who, or what, is supporting the currency. The video for today comes to an end here. Please take a moment to give this video a like and then click the subscribe button.